Good morning. I'm Reverend David Butler, and this morning is it's Tuesday, March 23rd, and our devotion is coming from the beautiful and historic sanctuary of St. John's Lutheran Church, where I have the privilege of serving as the pastor. As we are continuing our Lenten journey, today we encounter the 25th verse of the 22nd Psalm. We understand David wrote the psalm. We believe Jesus prayed this psalm from his cross. The 25th verse reads, From you comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will perform before those who fear him. If we think back to the first devotion, we remember it started with our Lord's cry, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Our hearts break thinking about those words coming from the Son of God, directed to God the Father. Pain, agony, despair, tears at Jesus. And on the cross, he feels deserted, alone, facing the power of evil in the world, fighting against the grip of sin on humanity. Now from the cross, Jesus prays, from you comes my praise in the congregation. And my vows I will perform before those who fear him. That's a shift at this point in the psalm of movement from wondering where is God in this terrible ordeal to the conviction that it is now time to praise God. There has been a move from definite defeat to certain victory. When our church gathers on Sunday mornings for worship, we always begin with the rite of confession. Standing before the people of God, I begin with the prayer, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. This is a prayer for God to cleanse us in such ways that we are able to see our sinfulness, to recognize that nothing in our life is hidden from God, and to free us so that we can praise God for all that he has done, for the gift of our Savior, for the gift of forgiveness, for the gift of salvation. That prayer is offered to move God's people from a a position where we think, I can do it all by myself, to the point where we recognize it is God being with us, making it possible for us to offer our praise to him. Even suffering the worst form of execution ever imagined or created, Jesus dies on the cross praising God. I know life is both good and bad. It can be easy, it's tough. Life can be motivating, life can be defeating. Yet the reality for a Christian is that when we turn our lives over to God through Christ, we are able to know God's presence is always with us and that God gives us the power and the opportunity to praise him no matter what we may be facing in this life. As we continue to walk to the cross with Jesus, may we pray that God will give us the desire and the words to praise him for his presence with us, for his gift of forgiveness, and for his promise of our salvation. I want to thank you for joining with me today. I pray that, I pray that you're having a great day. I pray that your day is being spent praising God. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. May God bless you.